Hello, my name is Kate Lateral, and welcome to Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Um, I've played one of the other Edna and Harvey games. I don't think I finished it, but I played it. Um, so you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. And it begins in the courtyard of a small, sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. But enough of that. It's a beautiful, sunny day. And Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. La, la, la. La, la, la. Lily, how many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. Wow. He's Children are driving me crazy. <laughs> Chapter one, the convent. All right. Hi. Oh, there you are. Is that Mola making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? Uh huh. How boring, and so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later, when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! Okay. She's cool. There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Uh huh. Do you want to play the tutorial? I'm gonna go with no. Why am I just going back and forth? Outside. I'll do it again. Uh, it's unbearable. One more time. Lily, now I've had it up to here. I guess I overestimated you once again. You're not even fit to rake leaves. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have two new tasks. For you. The okay. flower beds in the backyard have to be dug up again. Can you manage that? Uh -huh. I doubt it, but we'll see. And while you're in the backyard, the swing tree is infested by termites. Come up with something to get rid of them for good. So, one more time for the really clueless. You talking First, to me? Dig up the flower beds. Second, Get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You'll be very sorry if you don't do a good job. Sounds like you're the one who's going to be sorry. All right, to the backyard. This is where I was told to go by the other girl. Hi, Edna. Hey, Lily. Did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. Then maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. 
What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? And don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. Grass. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Uh, wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. Oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. These <laughs> flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. But that's fabulous. And you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You nice. don't even have a choice. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. All we still need is a shovel. Wonderful. Uh, termites. Uh -huh. She told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> It was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? <laughs> I even broke into the firefighters' museum to get the large red ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. Ah, <sighs> what the hell. Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I've run out of jelly. Okay. Um, the shovel, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh, I don't know where we can find a shovel either. Okay. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. Now we just need to find a way to get down into the cellar. You can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? Uh -huh. Oh, there was a window we that was really propped open. We really have to teach you how to do that one of these days. <laughs> but first, you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. Okay, what about the uh, artificial jelly? Are you still worried about the termites? I'd really love to help you, but unfortunately, I don't have any more jelly to lure the little darlings someplace else. But when we found the treasure, we can buy ourselves a whole jelly factory, or even better, a honey farm. I think honey is much cooler than jelly anyway. It sticks to the bottoms of your shoes better. <laughs> if we had a honey farm, we could also train the bees. <laughs> Maybe there's still a chance for my project. Peepholes for the Great Wall of China, after all. All right. <sighs> Mother Superior is having a bad day again, isn't she? Uh-huh. That wasn't hard to guess. The last good day she had was when everyone got mumps. I've rarely heard her laugh so hard. Wow. Don't let her annoy you too much, okay? Um... I'm sure you're dying to know how the treasure hunting's going, right? Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, not so great. The ground is just too hard. I doubt I'll be able to find anything here without a shovel. But I already right. have lots of cool dirt under my fingernail. And I even swallowed a slug by accident. How? A small consolation from Mother Nature. How did you... Okay. I'm gonna go back to the school. Okay. Cellar window. The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Okay. The idea was This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten... The idea. Hmm. The idea was good. Okay, let's go back here. Too bad. The faucet was dry. Lily would have also made it. She could stand on the sidelines. Lily was ex where could the hose lead to? Yeah, where could it lead to? What a surprise. The hose led to a um, thing. A thing. Lily, turn that off immediately. Okay. In Lily's experience, everything in the world could be divided into things this fell in. Okay, so this thing does not need to be pumped. Got it. Um. Garden hose? Can I put it in here? Ooh, there we go. 
Lily, turn that off immediately. Okay. In Lily's experience, this fell. Okay. Boss it. Too bad. Boss it's dry. All right. Let's go to the well. Hi. Uh. Hmm? Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. Okay. Uh, what's uh. inside the well? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Okay. Something is down there in the well. What is I it? I can see something sparkling. Nice. Oh, man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. That would be so gumbo. Gumbo? Gumbo? Uh. <gasps> Let me guess. You don't know what gumbo is, right? Uh -uh. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Guys as cool as me say that's totally gumbo. Or that gumbo. I don't. But you're just lame. I don't think that's. Totally ungumbo. I don't think that's how that goes. Uh, conference uh -oh. rules. Is this going to be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? Maybe. I'm so interested. Oy. What now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh-so-great Mother Superior forbid that too? Uh-huh. Oh yeah? That just proves how absurd adult rules are. Molly. The well what? is deep. You're still here? Don't creep around like that. I almost fell in the well from fright. Huh? Oh, how cute. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to climb down into the well. But not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. Just okay. because it really is too dangerous. Although... The well is what? too dangerous. I know that Mother Superior doesn't want us climbing into the well. Why don't you tell someone who cares? On the contrary, that's almost an incentive. I'd do almost anything to avoid becoming such a conformist little robot like you. Wow, how rude. Um, I said get lost. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. Okay. We we're not allowed in the cellar. Jeez, Lily, you're like a broken record. I haven't we heard can't me do say this. we a, can't do a, that. Don't drink motor oil. Two words. Don't play with the electrical socket. I've heard we really and um, and that's it. And um is no an actual word. No one likes you. Rude. Um. Really, Lily, stop talking so much. I Unless, said of nothing. Unless, of course, you have an idea how I can get the cellar key. Just think of all the things I could do with it. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Not just junk like shovels and brushes and all that. I'm talking about real treasures. You can blab oh, as much as you word. want. You. My complete attention is focused on the cellar key at the bottom of the well. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Uh, Don't you have anything to do? Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. You're such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs.
Even if Mother said Lily knew how to and definitely. Okay. Great. So not like that. How about Even that? if Lily and Great. Alright, uh, off to the convent. Lily wasn't allowed into the convent until the gardening had been done. Okay. Hopefully it wouldn't start hailing again. What am I supposed to do then? No well, no place for Okay, let me go back to the school pond. <sighs> Okay. He's jumped in the well. Hey, help! When Lily returned to the well, Freeman was gone. Yep. Nope, can't go there. Uh, let me play with this. Oh! Ah! What's mm -hmm. going on? <laughs> no! Go away! Go away! I'm allergic! <laughs> oh no. Clumsy Lily had actually dropped the bee's nest into the well. The bees didn't like it too much either. Their buzzing sounded different than usual. <laughs> anyway, do you want a hose? She had done wrong. Okay, let's go to the well. Hi. Um, oh, thanks a lot for your great help. You really did a fantastic job. If uh. You want the cellar key, but of course not. What in the world are you thinking? You're the one who got me to go into the well. No, it's uh, your fault that I fell in. I did but not. But instead of helping me get out, you throw a beehive on my head. Maybe I shouldn't have done drown that. me. Look at me. I'm wet, covered in bee stings, and smeared from head to toe with honey. I know everyone thinks you're sweet and harmless. But you're actually a walking disaster. I can definitely forget about the key. You keep away from me. Do you want a brush? Forget it. I don't care what you have there because I hate you. Lily had been distracted for a moment, but apparently Freeman didn't even want her things. Probably in case she would need them later. He was such a dear friend. Right. right. This hadn't been very effective. Forget it. For him, he was such. Okay. Um. There's a bee's nest. Lily thought about collecting the honey, but then she remembered her she knew. Okay. How about a brush? Hi. Okay. Let's go back to the uh. Over here. Back to the backyard. Oh. Cellar door. Okay. Great. Uh, keep going. Honey brush on the termites. The termites responded to lure them away. Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on.
Freeman had now left for good. But at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. Oh. And as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been what? joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. I'm sorry. Oh, give me the cellar key. Oh, boy. <laughs> it looked like the termites had found a new home. And one of the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Too bad that Freeman was no longer here. He would probably have liked it too. Oh, I think that is Freeman. Um, okay. Wow. Oh, I wasn't expecting Mother that. Mother Superior has strictly forbidden the children from... On the other hand... Li yep, I have a task to finish. Food, huh? Lily got along great. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Okay. And a shovel. A shovel? That's exactly what Lily needed. That's right. That's right. So? The stove. Just like the mirror that all. That's creepy. There were those voices again. Too bad there was no. There was no this fire. hadn't been very effective. Yep. Can I put the rake in the stuff? voices again. Ordering Lily to burn her stuff. Too bad. Okay. Um. Kind of hoping I could put, uh. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Because I have what I think I need else in here? Canned food? Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Okay, to the backyard. Wow, Lily really is a mess menace. A messin. Don't bother, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure with Okay, well I have a shovel. Yay! You call Lily you- Let's not waste any time. And Edna and Lily began digging out what they thought was a treasure chest. That's quite a treasure chest. It looks like it might have belonged to some space pirates once. Mm -hmm. So what? They were space pirates from World War II. Who cares? What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Come on, let's open it. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, that's that is not a gonna bomb. work. Once again. More proof that the bad reputation raw violence has is completely undeserved. Here, we certainly won't get far without it. Okay. Great! Now the device should have enough oomph to open the treasure chest. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Don't... Uh-uh. I already killed ah, somebody. Worry. We'll find something else. The yard waste was rotting away leisure... A paradise for... Lily couldn't stop watching... Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. That's why she immediately climbed on the termite-infested tree. Uh -uh. At least she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed off. Wow. Lily missed that somehow the tree seemed so sad. Okay. Uh, can I air hammer this? Lily didn't really want to damage the inscription. After all, it was the only proof that she did actually have a friend in the tree. Great. Lily would have liked to show the tree all of her great things, but it didn't even want to hear her. Oh, well. All right, why can't I use this on here? Great! Now the device should have... What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Don't you know how to use it? Uh-uh. Ah, don't worry. We'll find something else. Oh, I don't know how to use it. Lily knew that this device was called an air hammer. But she didn't know why anyone would want to hammer air. Can I use a shovel on it? Yippee! Yes. You did it! Hmm. And what's that supposed to be? Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Well... At least we have a fabulous chest, oh. and I already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have anything on you? Hmm. Uh-uh. Some wool for...
from embroidery class? Cool. Wow, that's perfect. Our friendship ribbon, the string that ties us both together, so to speak. Come on, put it in there. Now we just have to bury the chest again and... Mimi! Where did the brat disappear to now? Mimi! That's Mother Superior. What does she want now? We should check before she explodes. Oh. You have to be careful, you know? That took much too long for my liking. Is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. <laughs> Say nothing more! <laughs> Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. And yes. until further notice, there will be no more dessert, and bedtime will be moved up by an hour. And in case lady. you're wondering, it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for help. He's a renowned psychologist who will restore discipline and order here in the convent. Really? The examination will take place this evening. The okay. doctor will drive the mischief out of you once and for all. And I can guarantee this much. It won't be a pleasant experience. Man, she is a mean lady. A psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me near the beds. I'll need your help. Okay. You have the rest of the day off to think about what you've done wrong. Got I'd it. better not hear that you've used the time to create more mischief. I'm gonna and go get the bomb. Lily, I'm expecting you in my office now. Uh, all right. I'm very disappointed in you, Lily. Can you ever do anything right? Ugh. Not another word. Your constant excuses just make me even angrier. I have not said that. And now a word. just don't stand around like an idiot. Well, get a move on. Feed the cat. Can't you see how emaciated Lumpy has gotten again? Oh, stupid ch ch child! Wow. Stop. To feed the. Lumpy's bowl was nice. Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At wow. least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. Interesting. Doing bad, Lily. Very, very bad. You should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. Um. <sighs> but you've disappointed me for the last time. Jeez. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can wow. also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. You I'm got hoping it. that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. Jeez. Lily felt miserable. Man, she's Maybe a mean lady. Mother Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Dr. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Uh-huh. Oh, Lily. You're such a gem. What would I do without you? I could cover him in honey. Ah. <sighs> 
Lily didn't have any talent. Wow. Mother Superior only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. But Lily could barely manage even those and often received a scolding. Wow. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just leave this here. Uh, play this more on my own time. Um, as it is, I have already murdered a kid after dropping a beehive on him and then leading termites to him. So, you know, this is great. Mm. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm so yawny. Um, if you want to play this game for yourself, the link will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!